Hello everyone, uh, my name is Adria Bufil and I will talk to you today about how we have used the Synopsys Custom Compiler and other Synopsys tools to design advanced CMOS image sensors. So a bit of background about um, our company. We were founded in 2017 and we developed custom image sensors for customers that work in the biomedical, industrial uh, or consumer uh, space. So we'll go now to the next slide where we show the activities that we do at Imasenic. Um, so uh, we always start from the specifications of our customers. Sometimes they are very detailed, other times uh, uh, are just uh, a few lines and they need, uh, they need our help to, to, to develop them. And then we usually uh, uh, help the customer uh, fit the specifications to the technology capabilities of different uh, CMOS image sensor foundries. Uh, the core of our activities in the CMOS design, so our engineering team uh, tries to always meet or exceed the expectate the requirements of the of the of our customers, and uh, to do this activity is where we we use uh, Synopsys tools. Um, we mostly. Almost always we use, we do silicon sampling. So electro optical characterization of the sensors uh, we design. Uh, also very often we do production management uh, for our customers. So interfacing with the, with the foundries. And then we can also do packaging and camera modules, but very often our customers are uh, camera manufacturers. So uh, they do this themselves. So just a bit of more in, from a technical point of view, the, the capabilities we have, uh, we have a, a, we can draw from a, a growing list of IP that, that we have developed that includes rolling and global shutter pixels. Uh, we have also high dynamic range pixels. We have our uh, low noise readout chain, which includes a, a configurable and scalable uh, Sigma Delta ADC. Uh, we can do also all the on chip uh, digital control and data processing. Um, and then when needed, we can draw also from the expertise of our active network of partners to offer uh, BSI stack sensors, or also we, don't, we are not limiting ourselves to the visible part of the spectrum, but we can also offer infrared or, or UV uh, support for, for our customers. So I think it's maybe before we go into explaining how we use the tools, maybe give a bit of background about uh, how we decided to select Synopsys uh, for, for, for us. So um, Imasenic, uh, the initial team had decades of experience with uh, CMOS uh, image sensor design and IC design in general. And we had experience without having to, to give any names with the main EDA vendors and we knew it was key for the success of the company to select the, the right uh, uh, EDA vendor for us. So we needed a company that clearly can, could work with startups with the particularities that are growing, comp a small company, but growing uh, fast needs. Uh, obviously we needed a solid state-of-the-art proven EDA software that could uh, support the full IC design process with a focus on, on analog and mixed signal, but as I said, also digital and the full uh, a design cycle and we needed a software that could support our target initial target uh, image sensor foundries i will talk more on this later so with all these requirements at the end uh, we decided to uh, select uh, synopsis and custom compiler in particular for 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 the designs that we needed to do and this is what i'm going to talk next is the experience uh, from this from using uh, the tool for the last three and a half years so before we talk to the tools, maybe it's good to, to give an overview of what are the challenges or the particularities of a CMOS image sensor design. So you can see uh, what requirements we had for the tools and how they met these requirements. Uh, so uh, an image sensor, if we start from the input, the light, we start with the pixels. Usually pixels uh, require also TCAD design. We also take TCAD from a synopsis, but this is out of the scope of this presentation, so we're not going to talk about this. 
And then you have a, a variety of circuits. Uh, you have an analog readout chain with a programmable gain amplifiers, ADC, as I mentioned before. Then we also have uh, analog uh, support functions like uh, LDOs, biasing, uh, temperature sensors. And then to get this data out, uh, we need uh, a complex digital control to orchestrate the operation of, of the whole sensor data processing and then output drivers, uh, for instance, uh, high-speed LBDS drivers. Uh, in addition to this, uh, uh, at Team Asenic, uh, we uh, have a speciality that we design large, very large sensors, so up to full wafer size. So this requires to take care of uh, uh, stitching rules. and Also, we need to design for yield. Okay. Then large arrays of pixels require special layers. So uh, we, we have to go sometimes quite deep with the LBS and DRC tools, uh, tweak maybe the decks, so go quite uh, deep into this area as well. In terms of simulation, we have several thousands of column parallel DCs, uh, lots of uh, uh, large arrays of uh, analog circuits with lots of big millions of pixels. So in terms of top level simulations, if I may say one needs to be smart, to uh, combine all these types of circuits and, and be able to simulate uh, and do sign-off simulations at the end. And again, as, as well, uh, we, need to care, we need to take care of several voltage domains, some beyond the breakdown voltage of the technology. So that's another particularity of CMOS image sensor design. Not exclusive, but uh, is, some of these are shared with other types of, of design, of styles of design, but for CMOS image sensor, this is what you need to take care of. Okay, so now that we presented a bit the background and the context, let's talk about the specific tools we've used. So, um, yeah, in this list, uh, we have the, the tools that, that, that we wanna, want to cover uh, today. So for schematic entry, we use uh, the custom compiler schematic editor. We'll show more on this later. For uh, simulation setup and data analysis from this, coming from the simulation, so we use SAE. It's also part of the custom compiler environment. Uh, then for schematic simulation, we use HPICE for, uh, let's say, smallish blocks. HPICE is a very well-known uh, simulator in the industry. Uh, it's a golden simulator for, for some foundries. Uh, then for larger arrays, uh, uh, we use fine sim. Uh, and then for top-level sign-off, we can also use custom sim. Uh, we use wave B, which is a wave from viewer for, uh, this, uh, plotting the traces from simulation, then mix, mix mode simulation. Of course, we use the well-known uh, uh, digital simulator from Synopsis VCS combined with fine sim to do analog mix signal cost simulation. For physical verification, that not these are not custom compiler tools, but we want we thought it's worth mentioning. We use ICB, but it's also possible and. and uh, Many people do, and successfully, you can combine custom compiler uh, with uh, other vendor tools, and the integration interface uh, works uh, fine. Uh, extraction, uh, we use star C, uh, and then again, with the results of extraction, we do our simulations with HPICE or fine sim when there are large arrays or large parametric sweeps. So that's a bit of an overview of all the tools that. Uh, let's say on the analog mix signal side, uh, we use from Synopsis to design advanced CMOS image sensors. So I'm gonna give next uh, uh, a few screenshots and maybe a bit opinionated uh, uh, highlights from these tools. Um, so this is what uh, in, in our team at uh, Imasene we thought uh, we wanted to to draw attention to. So the schematic editor, as you as you see here in this uh, in this slide, has the, a feel very 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 common or, or, or let's say uh, an experienced uh, uh, analog designer will feel very familiar with this uh, with this look. Um, then all the intuitive there's a lot of intuitive hotkeys. Uh, all the menus are in the right place. It's very very easy to 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 start becoming productive with a with a tool, um, we also like the what they call on canvas editing. So it's very easy to change properties from for the instances. It's very easy to uh, move around the hierarchy, uh, up and down the hierarchy. So yeah, very very useful tool, very productive. It's very easy to be very productive with this tool. 
Again, layout editor. Also, it has a, a, all the menus in the right place, very intuitive. The look of the tool, uh, it's very familiar to anyone uh, working in the industry for years. So no problem here transitioning to this tool. Uh, also, it's intuitive enough to allow occasional users, so maybe uh, designers that which don't do a lot of layout or even uh, IC design managers that need to do uh, reviews of the of how work is progressing. It's quite easy to to get into the tool and and move around and check things, change layers, uh, and so on. So uh, it's very easy to configure the editing and viewing modes with the. Uh, a layout per post pairs and the palette of uh, we show here the palette of layers. Uh, it's quite intuitive and easy to to work with. As I mentioned before, the for uh, simulation uh, setup, the test benches, uh, this this tool uh, SAE that we use uh, a lot. Uh, it allows you to manage very large numbers of uh, variables. Uh, so here, in this case, this is for a full analog readout chain of one of our sensors. Uh, in this case, we had many corners, thousands of corners with temperature, voltages, bias, uh, input, input, uh, input signals. So in this case, the number of electrons that get converted by the silicon. And with SAE, we, we, uh, we can break down this large number of jobs into manageable sizes, and then we can uh, with the tool also when uh, the waveform viewer from synopsis wave view is uh, it's not enough for something very specific we need to do we can base easily sample values into a csv file for further processing uh, with uh, say python matlab octave or your uh, choice of tool for these kind of uh, things okay so Maybe this is not a common thing to expect that uh, we would have light from a tool, but uh, we think it's nice that the uh, custom compiler uh, organizes all the files, uh, set up files for the simulator and the results in a quite clear uh, way. So it's easy to access the data uh, and understand exactly all the arguments and all the corners uh, and so on uh, after simulation or prepare new test benches if there's anything that needs to be debug to understood better. So that's uh, a feature that uh, engineers working really in the details and in complex simulation setups appreciate. Then uh, custom wave view is the, uh, the tool that, that you can use from Synopsys to do plotting of both analog and digital uh, signals in mixed mode simulations. It has all the features you would expect from a modern waveform plotting tool. And then uh, I will also uh, talk briefly about the Custom Compiler Advanced tool, which is the tool uh, from uh, Synopsys that uh, gives you um, schematic driven layout features. I'm going to just give a, a, a glimpse of what you can do with it. This is a quite simple example, but probably uh, good enough to, to show why this is useful. So let's say you have a large array of, this is where we use it more for large arrays of devices in these cases pretty simple resistor, but you can use it for uh, arrays of both the resistors or capacitors or, 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 um, or transistors. So in this case, then we go to the um, symbolic editor and you define how you want to uh, connect the different uh, resistors for the, for the signal, these ping ones, uh, the dummies. And when you're happy with this, you, you, well, you, 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 while you're doing this, you have a, a preview uh, view uh, in the same uh, editor. And when you're happy with this, uh, you can uh, back annotate the dummies into the schematic. And we find this particularly uh, time saving because uh, sometimes there's a lot of back and forth between layout engineer and designers to see uh, how many dummies need to be put in, how they are connected, and there's sometimes a bit of LVS uh, problems that need to be bit back and forth. So with this tool, uh, all these issues uh, get go away basically. So we wanted to just show a bit uh, a taste for what you can do with more advanced features of custom compiler. Then, as I said before, uh, when we choose Synopsys, also we took care that Synopsys was supported for the main CIS foundries we were targeting. And this is not an exhaustive list. These only foundries that we used 
in the last year. So Tau Semiconductor uh, and uh, at 180, 180 nanometers, L Foundry and Dombu as well. So now all these tools uh, have been used at Imacenic to design uh, several CMOS image sensors. Uh, if you don't mind, we would like to uh, present uh, in a bit more detail our first sensor. That's kind of our first baby, so we're quite happy with it, proud with it. Uh, it's a CMOS uh, intraoral uh, dental imaging uh, sensor um, uh, that has uh, a close to two, two megapixels. These are fairly large uh, pixels, 18.5 uh, micron, includes uh, 1,200 column parallel incremental sigma delta ADCs, has an accuracy of 14 bits, it has up to C uh, five LBDS outputs, and um, it can be controlled with a very low number of, uh, of uh, wires so that it can be put in the mouth of the patients. Uh, so this design was a first time right design, no much changes whatsoever went straight into, into volume production with the first mass set. It took us 18 months, uh, but that's uh, from the very start of the project, uh, from the specification uh, definition and including the development of all the IP as this was uh, the first uh, sensor that we developed at, at Timascenic. Uh, it has a high dynamic range uh, pixel. And uh, as I said, since it has many, very few wires, uh, it has all the controlling logic inside. Now, after this, uh, we've done uh, other uh, medical imaging sensors. Uh, 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 so uh, they are listed here. Uh, other, uh, another one, a bigger sensor uh, with same type of pixel uh, for uh, also intra intraoral dental imaging, also wafer scale sensor. Uh, again, for also biomedical applications, which is currently in development. Um, and we have, uh, uh, we, we had in development, development of uh, sensors for industrial and consumer applications, and then others for uh, scientific uh, wafer scale, as I mentioned before, this is something we have experience at Imacenic, and then uh, other sensors uh, for, for space applications, uh, some for, for ESA, and then some others which we are not going, we cannot disclose uh, which which is the customer. So in conclusion, uh, we selected uh, Synopsis uh, three and a half years ago, and we have been able to design complex uh, CMOS image sensors, uh, including a lot of analog pixels, digital circuits. Custom compiler really has been a perfect match for our needs. Uh, we are very happy with the tool and we will continue to use it. And Synopsis uh, has uh, provided excellent customer support, filling the gaps when we need it, always uh, very fast and competent. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a summary of, of our experience with this tool.